The human larynx, at first conceived as a system for the protection of the low respiratory airway, has as a final function the possibility to produce sounds that constitute the vehicle of the human language. Under this type of expression, singing means an elite function, and its execution is a wonder of adaptation of very simple mechanisms. Although the study of the dynamics and interaction of diverse structure that form the vocal tract has been extremely difficult up to now, and its objectivation by simple methods practically impossible during singing. Manuel Garcia, Spanish singing professor and discoverer of the laryngoscopic mirror, also the first to apply this method of exploration in the study of vocal register, defines register as a series of consecutive homogeneous sounds produced by one mechanism, differing essentially from another series of sounds equally produced by another different mechanism. Which are these mechanisms? In what sense are they different? Which parts of the vocal system participate in the production of sound at a determined pitch? How is the change of one frequency to another regulated? These and many other questions are easily explained through the application of fiber viloscope, which is a very useful method for the research and clinical evaluation of the function of the larynx. The approximation movement between the vocal cords takes them to a position of contact that produces the complete closure of the glottis parting from this position the flow of air from the pulmonary system permits the epithelium that covers the free borders of the vocal cords to undulate, producing a sound that we call tone or fundamental frequency, with the pitch being determined by the number of periods of the vibratory cycle that are generated in a second. Starting from the initial position of glottic closure, we represent an horizontal projection of the vibratory cycle. It is formed by a face that we call open and another that we call close. The open face could be divided in an open period in which the epithelium of the vocal cords are separated by the action of the ear and the period of closure in which it recuperates the initial position due to the own elasticity of the tissues that form the vocal cords.